Hey everyone, I was thinking back to a while back when I was younger again, another psycho, stupid, crazy, out of this world, nonsense, bullshit thing we did as a kid that we probably shouldn't have survived and yet we did. Now in this little town I lived in, there was like six of us kids all the same age and there was five that were about in their mid-later teens, you know, finishing up high school. Now... I can't remember who it was, but it was one of the older kids, but one of the younger teens that had got his first bow and arrow. And we're all playing around in front of the, the gravel road, which was in front of the town hall and the bar. It was our town of 55 people. It had a bar and a ball diamond and, you know, a curling rink and, you know, a gas station where we could get candy and stuff like that. But it was a tiny town, literally only two blocks. Now... We were sitting there playing with this bow, shooting it back and forth, shooting it around. And then we wanted to see who could shoot the highest. Which was probably the stupidest thing in the world we could have dreamt up. Because we sat there and we're shooting and people aren't. And then the one kid, the older guy, decided in order to shoot the highest, you had to shoot straight up. And we're all standing in a big group with him in the middle, watching him shoot. And he shoots that arrow straight up. And we're all looking up watching it. And we lost sight of it, of course, because it's a tiny little thin arrow going straight up in the air. And we don't see it. And then it comes down. <laughs> and holy crap. We didn't realize right away how stupid we were until at the last possible second we saw that thing coming. When it was probably only about 30 feet left, so we had less than a tenth of a second to move. Luckily, nobody got hit, but it landed dead center pretty much in the crowd of where we were, and it didn't strike anybody. And the part that makes it really stupid is we continued to shoot that arrow straight up like that and watch for it to come down and see if anybody got clipped. And it kind of makes you wonder. No wonder that's why Gen X was the craziest, wildest, most feral, out-of-their-minds generation ever. And that's probably the reason we're the smallest, because maybe a few of us didn't survive. Anyway, that's one more story from my childhood. And this is Drax saying, I'll talk to you later. We will be back with me and my daughter here coming up in a couple days. Just waiting for her to be ready with her questions so she can get loaded and sit down with me. And until then, I will talk to you later, and everybody have a good day. And remember, Gen X is crazy, because we're the fuck around and find out generation. Later.